Hello students, I am Amit Solanki. Today I will discussing about the vector control of induction motor drives. We know that the induction motor has widely used in industrial applications. So we have to control the induction motor precisely. Uh, these are the contents of our today's lectures. And these are the uh, reference of this lecture. First, we will discussing about the introduction part of this lecture. So, from a historical point of view, in the past, the DC motor is widely used in area of variable speed operations due to some they are good starting torque characteristic. But DC motor have certain disadvantages because of having commutator and brush so this problem is reduced by the induction motor drives in industry generally three phase induction motor is widely used due to good self starting capability simple and rugged structure low cost and reliability etc uh, we have the two control techniques of ac drives one is scalar control and second one is vector control so first uh, the vector control it is a term which is used to describe a simple form of ac motor control and controlled by the adjustable magnitude of stator voltage and frequency in such a way that the air gap flux is always maintained at the desired value at the steady states that means the scalar control nothing is a vyf method uh, according to this method we can control only speed not torque so for that we are going towards the vector control methods in vector control method the machine current and voltage space vectors the transformation of three phase speed and time dependent system into a two coordinate time invariant system and effective pwm pattern generations so these are the aspects of two control methods according to previously said we can identify these two methods one is scalar control and second is vector control according to comparison so firstly in scalar control it is a simple form of motor control whereas the vector control has the complex mathematical model and scalar control have good steady state performance but vector control have precise control of ac motors scalar control have poor dynamic responses but vector control have excellent dynamic responses the scalar control have low performance drives whereas in vector control it have high performance drives in scalar control there is high power dissipations but in vector control there is low power dissipations so according to this parameters we can say that the vector control is widely used for the precise control of induction motor this is the analogy with dc motor control in this slide you can see the uh, circuit diagram of separately excited dc motor uh, both are separately excited and the torque equation of dc motor is given that t equals to k phi ia where k is a constant phi is the flux and ia is the armature current and this equations we can also write in the form of t equals to k if ia where if is the field current and ia is the armature current and finally this equation we can write in the form of t equals to k id and iq where id is the direct axis and iq is the quadrature axis according to this the field current as same direction as field flux and armature current has same direction as armature flux and armature current and field flux 
are always perpendicular and decoupled so according to previous slide we can say that there is a close parallel between torque control of dc motor and vector control of an ac motor motor the dc motor field flux produced by field current is orthogonal to the armature flux produced by the armature current because the vectors are orthogonal so they are decoupled that means the field current only controls the field flux and armature current only control the armature flux so both are independently controlled so for that the vector control is very important method so now we are going to main points our the what is the vector control so according to that the vector control is a variable frequency drive control method in which the stator current of three phase induction motor are identified as two orthogonal components that can be visualized with the vectors in vector control method both flux and torque are controlled separately so dc motor like performance of induction motor can be achieved by if the motor control is considered in the synchronously rotating reference frame where the sinusoidal variables appears as dc quantities in the steady state according to previously said we are draw here the equivalent circuit of induction motor in this equivalent circuit you can see that the there is current one current is flowing is that is a stator current or the starting current in this circuit diagram this stator current is divided in two parts after some times and these two parts are one is direct axis current and second one is quadrature axis current the id is the flux producing current or we can say the magnetizing current and iq is the torque producing current the id having the 30% of total current and iq having the remaining 70% of total current and we can say that the id having uh, the uh, more inductive property with respect to iq so we can control the iq for controlling the torque of induction motor so we conclude that p have less stator current and also we can control the more torque that means we are changing the angle between id and iq and we can get the control of torque of induction motors so in this diagram the id is the flux producing current iq is the torque producing current is is the total stator current and d is the angle between id and iq and the formula for torque is given that according to this circuit the torque is directly proportional to id iq and sin d where d is the angle between id and iq now this is the block diagram of vector control induction motor drives according to that we can control the speed of induction motor drives so according to block diagram of vector control fed by induction motor so the vector control will transform the direct axis stator current and quadrature axis stator current fed to the inverter and that is fed to the induction motor so that it will decouple with this vector control method and this is the right side the phasor diagram is shown according to that ids and iq is both are the orthogonal and with speed of omega e now the torque equation is given according to that that is the k ds of t iqs and ids where iqs is the torque component and ids is the field components 
and we are talking about the analogies of DC motor in vector control is that in induction motor that is IDS it is analogous to DC motor is IF that is a field current as it is in case of induction motor the IKS is quadrature axis as it is in DC motor that is the armature current so these are the analogous of DC motor now we are going to the steps to perform the vector control so how to vector control method is performed and this is the algorithm according to that we can uh, perform the vector control method first measure the motor quantities that is phase voltage and currents and transform them to the two phase system alpha beta using a clark transformations then calculate the rotor flux space vector magnitude and position angle then transform the stator current to the dq coordinate system using the par transformations now the stator current torque iqs and flux ids producing components are separately controlled next the output stator voltage stress vector is calculated using the decoupling block and inverse spark transformations transform the stator voltage stress vector back from the dq coordinate system to the two phase system fixed with the stator at last using the space vector modulations the output three phase voltage is generated so this is the algorithm according to that we can perform the vector control method easily step by step now this is the finally basic block diagram to implement of vector control method so according to this block diagram we can explain the vector control method how to implement it actually so in this block diagram there is two part in left side there is control part and right side there is machine part and these two parts are isolated by the inverter unity gain so in control part the control signals are we can see the reference signals ids and iqs are coming from the any controllers like microprocessor microcontrollers or dsp that will go to the model to the direct axis and quadrature axis the stator current components so stator space of direct axis and quadrature axis current fade to the direct axis and quadrature axis current to the three phase current and that is done by two phase to three phase transformation and this coming signals from that transformations that is ia iv and ic are three phase current reference signal it is fed to the inverter which is unity gain and that signals from inverter is goes to the three phase to two phase transformation model that is done by the another transformations now this signals the output of uh, this model that is ids and iqs are given to the space direct x quadrate six model and with the help of reference signal cos theta and sin theta we can again convert it into direct axis and quadrature axis synchronously rotating reference frame finally the uh, signals are coming into the uh, machine model that is a synchronously rotating reference frame and these are speed by the omega e so these are the complete block diagram explanation the in the right side there is a transformations and left side there is the 
inverse transformations so according to that the vector control methods are classified in two types one is direct field oriented control and second one is indirect field oriented current control in direct field oriented current control the rotation angle of the iqs vector with respect to the stator flux is being directly determined or by measuring the air gap flux and in case of indirect field oriented control here the rotor angle is being measured indirectly such as by measuring the slip speed now we can discussing about the field oriented control method which is the uh, one form of vector control method the scalar control such as v by f method has its some limitations in terms of performance so for that the scalar control method for induction motor generate the oscillations on the produced torque so it is not decided for precise control hence to achieve the better dynamic performance a more superior control scheme is needed for the induction motor which is the field oriented control the field oriented control is the first technology to control the real motor control variables of torque and flux with decoupling between the stator current components and the torque producing component of the stator flux can be controlled separately the field oriented control method has been uh, developed for high performance motor applications which can operate smoothly over the wide speed range can produce full torque at zero speed and it is capable of quick acceleration and deceleration so these are the advantages of field oriented control method now we are going towards the advantages of field oriented control what are the advantages firstly it has improved the torque responses then it has torque control at low frequencies and low speeds it have dynamic speed accuracy the field oriented control method had reduction in size of motor cost and power consumptions it has four quadrant operations and short term overload capability so these are the some advantages according to that we can use the field oriented control method for precise control of induction motor drives now the silent features of the vector control methods the transient response will be fast because the torque control by iqs does not affect the flux that means these are not affect to the each other they are separately controlled then the vector control allows for speed control in all four quadrants without additional of another control elements that means the we can use the vector control method in all four quadrant quadrant without using any additional devices and the next advantages is that the automatically limit operations to the stable regions and it has increased speed range that means we are getting the wide range of speeds and last it have the low inertia so these are the some salient features of the vector control method in which we are using in various industrial applications thank you so much for watching